Thank you very much. You're welcome back, News File, your most authoritative news analysis show. Uh, it's brought to you by MTN. Now discover your world of limitless possibilities on the internet with MTN iFest. Uh, this September, join the celebrations now on the biggest family with the widest 3G coverage in Ghana and participate in exciting trivias and promotions and enjoy amazing giveaways. Follow MTN on Twitter at uh, MTN Ghana. Like MTN, uh, the, the MTN Ghana page on Facebook and catch MTN on Instagram for up to the minute updates on MTN. Watch out for more surprises this internet festive season. So go on, explore MTN internet with fun as we create, share, inspire, and say welcome to the new world of MTN. Terms and conditions apply. MTN everywhere you go and OnePlex 400 is a one tablet of OnePlex 400 that's all that you need and it carries different types of intestinal worms OnePlex 400 can be taken any time of the day that's instructive and not only at night as the many other uh, worm the wormers that you know OnePlex 400 your one-stop dewormer for the family. It's available in all pharmacies and licensed chemical shops. Once again, I remind you, go to Tonic Ghana or you call them 0501-338-072. 0501-338-072 for a test drive of the best sleek, sexy, alluring vehicles that they have oh. on display. Also, vehicles that have a fuel economy to help you in times like this. Thank you very much indeed. Now, we, the shroud issue uh, doesn't seem to go away yet. You know, in the course of the week, the shroud boss, that mm -hmm. is Loretta Lamte, has come in for a lot of flock for what people say was misjudgment on her part, for what some people oh. say was sheer waste of public funds without any care. And as we know, one MP has, says he has sent a petition to the president to initiate the processes towards her removal from office, as dictated by Article 146 of the 1992 Constitution. Well, the presidency says that that letter or petition has not reached uh, the Flagstaff House yet. And this was as of, I think, uh, Wednesday. We are being told by Parliament that they are going to probe the commissioner because of further revelations of misdeeds at, uh, under her watch. One includes that even that rental, the allowance that was given to her for her rent, was not <coughs> gone through proper procedure. Procurement, the Procurement Act was also violated in all of these processes. Now, uh, Kuku, I'll start with you on this one. The MPs, and you may have heard Atacha speak to Evans Mensa, suggest that there are clear <laughs> possible consequences, <coughs> criminal consequences, even after these processes that the Shrad boss may suffer. I know you seem to have a soft spot for her. Well, that's true. Uh, but we would have to. Uh, we, sh we shouldn't jump the gun in terms of the criminal consequences. Mm. I think that can only come after thorough investigations or verification of all those reports and allegations. Right. But I, as we speak now, it appears there are three levels of processes underway. The petition is one level. Mm -hmm. that, that is to seek the removal, right. going through the appropriate constitutional provisions. Right. Then there is the Auditor General's Special Audit. Right. And that's distinct from the 2012 audit report. I'm sure you know that. Right. That the 2012 it, is done. It's only supposed to go to the Parliament Commission. Yes, yes. Mm. But they appear, it appears the Auditor General has written <coughs> a charge, I'm told 25th or so September, uh, that it is going to conduct what they call Special Purpose Audit into the accommodation and related issues. 
And so that's and that's the law allows the Auditor General right. to the means the means of communications announced that in the release that he yes. Out. So I'm just the Auditor General can do that. He can do, but that special audit. If you go to Section 16 of the Audit Service Act, uh, Act uh, 584. It says, submission of special audit to Parliament. The Auditor General may, in addition to the audit of public accounts, carry out in the public interest such special audits or reviews as he considers necessary, and shall submit reports on the audits or review undertaken by him to Parliament. This recent decision by the Auditor General appears to be in line with Section 16. Right. Already they have the 2012 audit report with them it talks about some it, it it covered the period 2009 january to december 31st 2011. obviously certain developments could not have been captured in that because some of the shred issues appear to have con the, 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 the problem appear to have continued mm. with new dimensions coming on board 2013 2014. So one would have expected that the Auditor General in routine, in the discharge of his routine statutory duties, would have covered 2010, uh, 2012, 2013, and 2014. But now the public interest appears to have triggered this special audit, which will end up with Parliament. I hope you get a drift. Right. Now Parliament, too, of course, under the laws, has the mandate, it has authority actually to also do an exercise, a review. I remember, if you recall, the VRA issue, Tarzan's period, uh, Dr. Rekubrobe's uh, period, the allegations and things. In spite of all the uh, investigations that were done by the ministry, by the national security, and by the audit service, parliament still proceeded to set up what they call an ad hoc committee or a special committee to investigate VRE. I'm not sure what happened to that particular option. But they passed their resolution to that effect in Parliament. No, I think that So I can see a situation where Parliament, as a noun, the report is with the Parliament, the 2012 one. Right. It's not yet, it has not yet been tackled by the Public PAC. Accounts Committee. So uh, I'm asking myself some questions in terms of what Parliament wants to do now. Uh, first of all, they have before them a 2012 audit report with aspects of the Shraj matter captured in. Obviously, the Public Accounts Committee is going to deal with that. My understanding, if I'm right, if, if I'm wrong, correct me, is that what Parliament is seeking to do now will not be something being done by the Public Accounts Committee. That's what I yes. understand it to be. Oh. Uh -huh. yes. So, yes, there can be a, a certain duplication between what Parliament is going to do and what even the Auditor General has decided to do with a special audit, which will end up with Parliament anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, there's also the 2012 one, which there's an overlap, a certain linkage. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Uh, why can't we do a consolidation? Why can't we find just one line of an investigative process to thoroughly deal with all these issues and come to a final conclusion. As for the petition, it's a different ball game. I'm not too sure I can ask for right. a redrawer mm. of the petition. It's, it sets in motion something very different, OK? Because that is targeted at removal or suspension of the commissioner. So this is the way I see. These are my initial thoughts. Right. But clearly, right. as I think aloud, mm. I think there's the need for some attempt to rationalize, you mm. know, and make sure that things are consistent. M Mr. Ikutu, the suggestion is that she might get into deeper troubles because the Auditor General's report reveals purchases um, amounting to over, let's say, in the region of uh, 34, uh, is it a million, 34,000 uh, Ghana cities, uh, which were not routed through the stores before use in violation of the store regulation act again uh, the her outfit failed to refund to government chest an amount of 89,000 okay so let's say an amount of 90,000 uh, Ghana cities 
resulting from overstatement of funds for the payment of personal emolument, personnel emolument, and then finally uh, a total of some 50, 53,000 Ghana cities of withholding tax has not been submitted to the government by Shraj for three years. Well, <clears throat> the Auditor General has a duty to reach the accounts of all public institutions. And therefore, and of course, institutions that are by Act of Parliament. Mm -hmm. So Shiraj obviously falls within that kind of category. The Auditor General has done his work, and the law says he should uh, give his uh, report <coughs> to Parliament. After the submission, Parliament is obliged to, you know, review and debate it. Now, I thought that all this noise started when the Ghanaian Times newspaper also published Daily Graphic, the Daily, Graphic. Uh, Daily Graphic published the report of the Auditor General. Not exactly. A part of yeah it was. The report initially didn't indicate that a source was the Shraj report and uh, yes. the Auditor General's yes, report. That's correct. It was subsequently that it that came it out. Came out. That's, that's right. the point. Oh. So as you Kweku put it, the report is coming to you. We have a proverb in Ga which says, Manchebi ejo fu If you are the son of the chief or a daughter of a chief, somebody's head, somebody has been beheaded. That head will be brought to the chief's house. Let others go and look at it. At the end of the day, it will be brought to the chiefs and you can sit on your father's lap and watch the, the live coverage. So don't attempt to yeah, join the crowd. Don't join the crowd. So the thing is coming in any case. What is the big deal? Take the report, read it. We are talking about the special audit, which is another one that you, the, the auditor general himself is putting up there, that he wants to go into the matter. Then somebody quickly writes a petition for removal. Why is the problem of yeah. evidence? evidence yeah. Let's take our time yes. and do this no, thing properly. properly. In any case, you, it is coming to you. So take your time and re research it. Why? The 2012 one, when it went, didn't they see all the things they are now saying? Is it because something had been put in the papers and all that? You know, sometimes we, we hound people out of office. We have not established the fact that she was even involved in any wrongdoing. L let us assume, for example, that he gives an instruction that, look, Auditor General says we should remove, we should pay back this amount. Unfortunately, the schedule officer fails to do that. You are holding her responsible that she is in the nature of corruption, that she has misused that money herself or what? We've spoken about the, the, the text of office. You go there, they tell you, my friend had his, his, his letter as a cabinet minister, is entitled to uh, accommodation, chauffeur, driven car, car mm. uh, night watchman. No, they, they oh, don't no. night watchman. They will give you They'll police. Give you a, a, a police? Yeah, but cook. Security? They yeah. will give you cook. But, but I didn't get a cook. You got a cook? Why? I think that. <laughs> I didn't get a cook. It's <laughs> part of our tradition. I, 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 it it's not part of mine. You get a cook. Uh, you know. Oh, I, yeah. I then I'll have to make a, a special <laughs> have changed but <laughs> yes, I'm yes, saying yes. these are the things you find in your in your letter of appointment mm. now the, you are not making it uh, available mm. say oh we're going to do renovation mm. it's taking time whose fault is it mm. is it the fault of the person whose place is being gotten ready for her meanwhile say oh go look for accommodation somewhere we all know that these things do happen mm. so why are we you know like Seeing this thing as a deliberate attempt on somebody's part to, she, if if I I, I I recall some of the things that I've read, that when she went to the AU, you know, village, village. Oh. realizing the amount involved and the person recognizing, uh, even decided to reduce it, it, yeah. the figure, then after so I said, look, let me move out of this place. I mean, it's, it's costing us, so he moves out and and goes to another place, perhaps to pay less and mm. all that, you know. Let us allow the investigations to be done. Let Parliament take this time. And, and you think that that should, not, that should not include the petition to seek her removal? Oh, it's too because early. you think that is rash? No, 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 it's mm. too early. You see, I, I, I understand 
the, the point where it's coming from. Mm. That if, if the person is an independent uh, institution, having the, uh, the, the conditions of service of a court of appeal or a high court judge or whatever, especially court of appeal judge, mm. then the removal also would have to follow those procedures. Yeah. And it in includes petitioning to find out whether there's a prima facie case before you even move on right. to the next thing. So somebody decides quickly, let me send a petition. I mean, to me, we should just take our time and mm. That, but it's such an important institution that we do not you need have a feeling, to be... You have a feeling that you know, petition will, will suffer or will not pass the prima facie test? Well, I, I, don't, well, well I don't know. I haven't seen the contents. Okay. And, but the work is still being done. Okay. So why don't we take our time to get everything you know, in order? Right. And then we can decide whether right. or not... Right. Saini, this, this, is, this is Atatia speaking. Oh. And he's a member of the committee that is uh, sort of looking at her, her issue. And he says, when our law policing agencies are being themselves lawless, then we are in a very chaotic situation because all the indictments here do not sit well with us all uh, as a committee. Then he moves on to say, if there are penal sanctions, we will have to recommend these penal sanctions. You see, uh, in, in, in fact, what Atakia has said, clearly flies in the face of what Mr. Malik, uh, uh, Mr. Abdul Malik Okubako has said and what my senior Mia Yiku Oto has said. This is a trial in the media. So already said that some public officer is behaving lawlessly. It's a conclusion. <laughs> That's a determination. The processes have not started. So law policing agency. Law policing, what is law policing? Agency is a public office. Which, which includes, <laughs> which includes, which includes, which includes uh, it's uh, not, uh, it's uh, not quite uh, a public officer. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. So, so that's what he said. And, and that we say that we should hasten slowly. You see, this is a country of law, not a country of men. That we say we should hasten slowly. slowly. Atacha says, quote, <coughs> we would have to fast track our processes. No, hasten slowly. Because the processes, there are processes. And the reputation, integrity of every person needs to be protected and safeguarded. You need to let people feel that they will be protected while in the public office. That yes, the matters that are coming up are serious. But don't we have institutions to deal with this? Mr. Abdul Malik Kukubako has already told you, 2012 uh, auditors report, Auditor General's report is in Parliament. It was submitted the, the, on September 13, 2013. 13. Parliament was on recess. Parliament is to be called for a special session on Tuesday. We don't know whether Parliament will refer it to the committee. Or Parliament will have to wait until its regular sitting to consider that. What issues are there? A report has not been brought to Parliament. A petition has been fired to the presidency. The uh, 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 Auditor General is saying that he's going to carry out a special audit. Now, how do we treat this petition in the face of the fact that the Auditor General is going to carry out a special audit? Is, we appear to be doing things, I mean, in a way that is not coordinated. And, and that is I mean, confusing the situation. Mm. So I think that what we need to do is to systematically approach this matter. Government has received the petition. The government will wait the outcome of the special audit, audit to be done by the special the, the Auditor General before he responds to the petition. Now, um, I, I will implore and invite Atacha and Co to wait until the special audit is completed. Why, why are you saying that? The government will wait yes. for the completion of the special audit mm. yeah. before it will attend to the petition? Yeah, before yeah, it can the apply to the petition. Why? 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 Is that to suggest yes. that by the revelation, the outcome of the audit, yeah. the petition may be needless? Yeah, no, but, but, but no, the petition no, must go to the chief justice. Hold on, hold on. It's the chief well, justice that well, determines. Yes, hold on. I'm taking yeah. it slowly. We don't it's want like a parallel okay. process. He's a lawyer. He knows that I'm on want, the track of a no, cross examination. The, we don't want <laughs> a parallel process. <laughs> uh, no, you don't invoke the 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 jurisdiction of bodies without any 
I mean, a, a solid basis for doing so. The president has no discretion in the matter. Yeah. What? As a question is, is emphatic. With flourish and clarity, it says mm -hmm. that he will receive it mm -hmm. and forward it to the chief justice. It is up to the chief justice to make the determination of a prima facie. Yeah. Well, it's a petition to the president. Yes. The president is saying that he will forward the petition to the chief justice. But the, before he does that, he will await the outcome. No, he has no such discretion. <laughs> well, unfortunately. Um, okay. By the tone of the constitution. Well, the time, there's no time. The lacuna in the law mm. is simply that there's no time that the president for the, the matter to the, to the chief justice. Yes, there's no time. That there's was no time. Yeah, but, but, but you, you know that. good governance well, practice. Well, in order not for the president himself to court any speculations and perceptions that he might be seeking to cover up anything, yeah. I think good governance practice would demand that you get a petition and you forward it to the appropriate quarters. Mm. And then you wash your hands of it. Politically, well, okay. take well, it from me. Well, well, yeah. Politically, that's political. Mm. Yeah. But legally, the fact that the president has received a petition doesn't automatically mean that the president for the next day he receives I'm it. I'm talking real politics. <laughs> no, real politics. Okay. But this is so that what, you don't this is what is going to happen. Wrong perceptions for now, yourself. I, I let the chief justice deal with the ball in no, her court. Come, come what, please, what I'm saying uh, is that the special audit and. and I mean, I'm taking it. I mean, I like the rational basis from which you came. Sure. I mean, this country must be seen to be working properly. And I'm saying that, well, this, this, the audit, Auditor General's report, which is in Parliament, there's a special audit to be done. The petition is, I mean, raising issues, touching and concerning matters that are in Parliament, and also matters that will be, I mean, uh, 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 audited by the special, I mean, the Auditor General in the special audit. Yes, the petition has been received. But the presidency will await the outcome of the special audit. Mr. Aikoto, yeah. let me bounce this by you. Um, okay. <laughs> See, Article 1463 oh. reads, and I quote, oh. If the president receives a petition for the removal of justice of a superior court, other than the chief justice or for the removal of a chairman of a regional tribunal, he shall refer the petition to the chief justice who shall determine whether there is a prima facie case. Mr. Inusa, uh, Mr. Fuseni seems to suggest that why he's, he would want to wait until the audit is over is to determine whether there's need for the petition in the first place. Does he have that discretion? Well, I would agree with Mr. Fuseni because we should not be seen to be doing things in you know, exercise, engage in exercises of futility, in futility. The processes are ongoing. We have not finished yet. We've even asked for a special audit to zoom in into almost every aspect of financial, you know, administration in that particular, you know, My institution. question to you is that by the tenor of the Constitution, yes. does the President have an option? I think he can delay the process. He can delay. It is for him to send, to forward it. Mm -hmm. And he can delay the process to say that I want to have some, let us go through the processes and then I'll forward this thing. See, same, same. He can do that. See? So he can delay it, but he, he can. cannot decide that after no, the, no, because no, of the no. outcome of yes. the audit, he yes. will not send it. Yes, I yeah. agree uh -huh. with But you. that's the point. That, that, that's I the point. But, but I've said that. I've said that. There will be no need for government. There will be no need for government to communicate okay. on this matter that I have delayed it because of so and so. There's no need. Yeah. Mm. You caught unnecessary speculation, mm. negative speculation for, against yourself. Okay. No, but the government also nothing. has responsibility <laughs> no, to protect yeah. Look, yeah. There is no individuals. I'm I will telling safeguard you. the reputation of... No, no, but no, who's, you who's, cannot, who's, that petition by itself please. cannot damage anybody. That petition on, itself? Yes, because it will be dealt with on merit, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Well, okay. That peti petition by itself okay. means but, nothing. But government wants the processes to continue. Well, if I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, now let, me, let, me, let, me pick, let me pick Ms. Amfojo's thoughts on, generally, on this thing about the shroud boss that is out there and all the comments, and the commentary is so heavily against her. Well, I think a very important point was made by the Honorable Minister that we should be careful not to do trial by media. That's the first point.
we should be careful not to do trial by media. The second point is, to sum up everybody's view here really, is that there are actually a variety of processes in place. In fact, a lot. <coughs> so it will be prudent, <coughs> it will be prudent for us to actually see that those processes go some way to helping to clarify the situation one way or the other. Mm. So I mean, th th those are really my, those are really <coughs> my thoughts. He likes to tackle it so <laughs> brief, straightforward, and so short. It, yeah. you know, mm. to, to, be, to be honest with you, um, I think that the, because of the special purpose audit oh. that the AG is undertaking, oh. It would even be useful for parliament, the par parliamentary, the appoint, uh, public accounts committee, oh. not to look at even the 2012 one, oh, okay. that aspect, oh. because it's only a half of it. If you realize there are many more things that have happened relative to the same matter oh. that are not captured in the 2012 report, oh. that would have been captured in the 2013, 2014, if the routine auditing was what was being done. Oh. Now it's been triggered, or if you like, overtaken. Oh. by a special audit, yeah. oh. which would come anytime soon so, to parliament. Yeah, yeah. So within the parliamentary contest, oh. I think they can hold on. Right. Now, no, let me just finish. Now you see with the... Oh. If it was the chief justice that was waiting oh. for that kind of report oh. to be able to get prima facie evidence, oh. that would make sense to me. Oh. That would be more logical. Oh. So if there's a delay, the delay ought to take place at that level and not at the level of the executive, oh. politically. The government will definitely I am forward. advising you. So, so, will, so do you get what no, no, I get, it, I get what they're saying. They're saying that practically wait for yes, the outcome it could. to assist it's better uh, that to way. make the prima facie determination. First of all, I agree. I agree. It's oh. a matter of procedure. But I agree. If, if we didn't say that, appointed the commission. if we didn't say that right. clearly, mm. the, the, the government, the executive arm of government could, could do that. Mm. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is that we ought to let processes work in this case. I agree right. in principle. Yeah. Right. We all agree on, yes. on that. And then, mm -hmm. so... Because there are already people suggesting that, that she was an appointee mm -hmm. of you no, know, the NDC administration. Of course, uh, number three. NDC yes. number three. And people are reading politics. Well, I, do, I don't agree. I don't see no, that no, as a valid no, point. No, nothing political about this. Yeah. If, I mean, if there is evidence to show that some yeah. impropriety has been done, the law should be some NDC people are but being see, spoken. Even why would you it. fire on the basis of an auditor's mm. Inspector General's report that has not yet been considered by Parliament, yes. mm. why will you fire a petition to the President for his removal, for her removal? Well, that we can't take that right from the pen. But unfortunately, okay. I mean, it raises much. issues. Right. Thank you very much. And I hope you also would note, uh, note that uh, where time has not been provided, reasonability is what us to uh, inform how you do Reasonable time here is relative. Okay, some comments here. Uh, Ganil in Sabugu says that uh, one important thing is that we must win the case at all costs. Uh, legitimately, though, another important thing at, is at that... All cost. yes, <laughs> at all costs. Yes, legitimately. At all costs. At all costs. Okay, I can hear the politics. Uh, right. At the end of the at the end of the judgment, oh. Ghana and Ivory Coast must together remember that we all still belong to the same West African, uh, you know, region, and so the need for a peaceful coexistence is highly essential. Watching in UCC, right? It's true uh, that the president's speech was never a passionate appeal, just mm. that it's similar to his usual vain promises. Mm. Ghanaians are tired with Mahama and the NDC. Kosuno uh, Ampem in Spain says, is Mahama not ashamed to praise Watara? That's why many meaningful Ghanaians are now yelling for Nana Akufuado to bring the experience, his experience to bear in salvaging Ghana's economy. Mm. Uh, Samuel Bryan says that uh, talk is cheap and it's easier said than done. See who is talking about Ebola at right under your head. Cholera has killed more than uh, Ebola has done in the whole of Africa. We are we are sick and tired of this no action talk only. Uh, K. Mensa Bozo says we have filed our case. I presume 
we are yet to receive the Ivorian case. Why are we so sure of winning? <laughs> in disputes between, in disputes between, okay, that's, it's okay, thank you very much. Um, I understand that, uh, I understand that uh, the MP for Ebuakwa South and uh, lawyer Atacha uh, wants to make some clarifications in respect of uh, his uh, speech that we have quoted, uh, his remarks that we have quoted. Uh, <coughs> good morning. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Atacha. It's my pleasure. Yes. Uh, thank you for this intervention here. Yeah. Right. So what exactly is the point you have to make? I want to stress that uh, nobody is trying to prejudge the issues relating to uh, the boss of Shrad at all. From my perspective as a member of parliament and also as a vice chair of the committee, I was stressing that there has been a completed report by the Auditor General which has been laid before parliament and has been referred to us. The reason why we are unable to do it is that we have such a tall list. And therefore, I said that we could investigate these matters and expedite issues. And where we have issues like um, a, a violation of the procurement act, and we do not sometimes remember that there are penal consequences, and penal consequences will have to be underlined. And then the report sent to plenary for recommendations to be made. I'm not saying that the woman should be judged in the press. Mm. And I think I should underline that. And also, I find it a bit funny when people want to push such weird interpretation of the Constitution that when somebody makes a petition, even if it's just a juvenile uh, um, uh, petition or a very pedestrian one, the, the president should play with it. What has the president got to do with the petition? He is the, I mean, the head of state. Somebody wants to affect an institution of government. And you just have to sign out that, look, uh, Chief Justice, the Constitution says that when I receive a petition, you should look into the matter. So when the, uh, the, the petition is received, now it should bear a stamp of the president. And as to when he makes the referral, it should be clear to everybody whether the president is interested in the uh, petition. That is why he might want to delay it. I find it very weird that when he says, sir, I refer. Some people are talking about his time consideration and his discretion. Who is evoking? I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, the, 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 the president is questioning the matter like this. I mean, I mean, I, I find it very, very unfortunate. All right. Uh, anybody who makes that. Let, 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 no, one, no one invoked the president's discretion in this matter. Kuna in the law, as does not state the time requirement for the president to submit the, for, uh, the petition to the chief justice. Okay, so. Unless, of course, you can provide for the time required for the president to act on but the petition. What requirement there is to this matter? Uh -huh. It's not the many thing that thing. What, what, what has he got to do with it? Oh, I, I see. Mean, can he determine anything? You have a tall all? order of you have ah. a tall order of report uh, uh, audited accounts before you. You are yet to deal with them. And I even find it strange that the 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 uh, auditor general's report has come. You have cons you have yet to consider it in parliament. A member of your public accounts mm. committee cites the report and decides with a recourse to parliament to file a petition. I find it strange. But to be fair, the report, the report is already in the public domain. Yes. I find it, I find it because the Hold on, a hold on. You, you, you've already asked your question. Because a non-member of the committee technically, technically, is not supposed to comment on the report until the report is submitted to the plenary. But, but what does that got to do with that as a public accounts committee? <laughs> a member of you you just commented... Hold on, hold on, please. Let you just commented no, on no. a member's right to send a petition. Mr. Fseni, you, and I'm yes, commenting you on made the your right. Point. Allow him, allow okay. him to respond. Yes, please. Let's hear you, Mr. Tasha. My good man, I don't see um, any um, legal argument that you are making or whatever it is. If somebody should go wayward, and as you were talking about institutions, and people wouldn't want to respect institutions. Let the chief justice say that this is too pedestrian for my consideration. Primary first year, the foundation is not there. Who is supposed to determine it? I mean, okay. I don't sit and determine it. it mm. Has the chief justice not got this official sense to show? 
uh, to know that indeed and in fact what is before me is not primary property. I throw it in the out of the window. Why okay. should anybody play with it? Okay. That is my concern. Right. Now my, my final question for, for you is to seek if you can assist us with this. We're seeking to know the difference between the present invitation by Parliament to her, I'm talking about the Shrag boss, and what is going to be done at the uh, park. What, what's the difference? Well, um, whatever it is, I will tell you simply. <laughs> that that if we have, we can have a report to consider, we will consider it. Mm -hmm. You understand? As to whether they will respect the terms of the report at the plenary, and also adopt it, it's there for the record. Yes. But we cannot say that we subordinate we should subordinate our wealth to any institution or anybody's petition or whatever. All right. That we, we are not supposed to do. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, but, uh, but, Mr. But uh, some say, Philip in Accra, yes. But some say, yes. Uh, let's state it on, on record. Mm. We put it on record. No one has said on this panel that the public accounts to their work to mm. any institution. Okay. Mm. What we have just asked for mm. is to let the systems work. Okay. That's all. And Thank you. Mm. And the fact, yeah, and the fact we that yes. recently we have, we have also found a definition for the word shall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Very yes. Yes. But of, obviously, it's, it's based on the circumstance. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Philip in Accra says, is a shrug boss different from the director of passport? Can't she be asked to step aside uh, for investigations to take place? Uh, uh, <laughs> Professor Bonzi Simpson. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see. Founding dean of the faculty of the University of Cape Coast, uh, the president has no discretion as to whether to forward the petition to the chief justice or when. As no time has been set by the constitution, the law is interpreted to mean forthwith or as soon as is reasonable, practicable, not indefinitely or whenever the president deems it fit. So Thank you. Uh, we're extremely uh, grateful that Professor Bonzi Simpson, you will find time to send us this message uh, to contribute no, to this discussion. Nobody said it should be sat on indefinitely. Uh, nobody okay. has said nobody that. Said well, that. No, but you see, that's why I said, said the that. best thing to do is for the executive <laughs> right. to forward it okay. to where it should we be. Should not Thank don't hold it to it for any time. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And uh, this is the point where we are taking a break. But uh, there was that text, uh, Philip, uh, from UCC also asking that question, whether she cannot be indicted or uh, suspended like... Uh, the director of passport. You as know, he, the she enjoys the terms, of, the terms of conditions as a court of appeal judge. judge. So that's the difference. Friend. We'll be right back after this break. We'll go to the World Cup Commission and see if Koku will cry today too. <laughs> <laughs>